So, I think, I think the most important, I think the most important thing on this, I'll, and I'll do it from this, yeah, we'll go this way around, I'll do it from Tacker's perspective, if you go from there. If me, and then that makes it the, 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 the defending, but like, for me to, if, if you look at what, um, what, just move that hand so there's no spoke, yeah, just put it there, yeah. yeah. So, if he's like this, right, his, two, his arms are basically, um, his arms are basically like, that's, that's defending a bow and arrow, and that's defending a, a Kimura straight arm lock. So this is defending arm locks, bent or straight, and this is making the bow and arrow very, very difficult. But what it leaves really is, it does, in my view, leave access to this if he doesn't move his arm. Move his arm. And the challenge you've got with the, the paper cutter is, you know, if I, if I can just even get my thumb in, and I can start pulling and ragging him flat from here, we've already now got the beginning of the, the submission. So I think the conclusion we came to is, if you think like the Kimura, if we're dealing with the iron pillow, the Kimura is the major thing to begin with. Other things branch up there, but the Kimura grip here, you've got, yeah, we've got the paper cutter here. If he defends the paper cutter, don't, uh, don't move on this for now, just keep you over there. I, I can try to come round for the for the bow and arrow. In reality, we were finding during isolation yesterday that the major thing was that uh, I usually can't, if he's here and he's still actually defending the paper cutter, but with one eye on making this as awkward, this grip as awkward as possible, we were finding that was the, I think the most, I think the conclusion was that was the most effective, was to almost put your eggs on being inside and if I really try to force, the further round I go, the more he can open this out without too much exposure. So if I really, you feel the guy's got a grip in here, he's trying to like get it in, really trying to throw this in, like he can go a little bit more on this, but we were finding that usually, the, I think the, usually the best position you end up with is this hand coming, as I come here, I end up able to maybe force something in here, right? And, and maybe, you know, Frank might say, well, you, you're not doing something enough. But that was what we were finding in sparring, was you could maybe get in here, and what tended to happen was there was a gift wrap type situation going on where you could sort of feed it. And as I start doing this, they start bringing their hand up to clear. This is, this is what started, yeah, we started getting into kind of like this kind of fight where you might get this. And then he starts defending the, the, the Kimura again. And yeah, it was just going back. We maybe get in here, and then he start clearing that off. And that became the game. But the key thing is, is that you don't want to be defending the bow and arrow when he's hitting the paper card. So the, I think the most fundamental thing is defending the inside. That was what we, we kind of got that, that down to. So if Adam's the example, I think most common, and this is what, what, what happened with me and people on Sunday, was he was going really aggressively for the Kimura. Yeah. And I kept defending, I was kind of defending the Kimura, and he was threatening to step, so my arm was up. And really, this was just wide open. And you don't need a lot on that. So then we got on to when he's taking this camera grip, when I bring this in about just turning this thumb. I actually said in on the video, I meant out. You turn, you turn the elbow in by turning the thumb out. And I wanted to just kind of wedge my arm inside the elbow, uh, elbow joint. So, if, so I'm defending the Kimura with my knee up. And if he now switches, this arm's inside. And this gives me the ability to just sort of put my hand to my head and to turn into him if I if I feel I need to. If he's really fighting for this neck grip. Is there anything else I've missed in terms of the debrief? We talked about yesterday. No, I think that's where I'll boil down to the inside space. Yeah. Prioritising the paper cutter. Yeah. The defense. So let's just get warmed up with this just to not it's not like this isn't hard at all. He's just going to start off with the Kimura. We're going like 30% at most. I'm defending this. And I just want to get into this habit, because I've still got this habit of this. We just want to get into this habit of just bringing this in to try and get some, and if I can, get the work my, work my hand like a blade inside his elbow. Just literally, and keeping the knee up, and then he might go to the, 
uh, back to the bow and arrow. Yeah, and I just get in this little crack. This will just doesn't have to be like even this intense. Just 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 move in between the the different positions, like twenty five percent intensity of eye on top, just to feed it, just to get into this as we're just sort of getting more than we'll go from there. Yep, let's give it a go. Um, do you want to mix in with Matt because you were here yesterday, you were in five of those two were here. 